Hems in the wake of the COVID-19 situation. The previous meets had discussed the need and ways to promote social distancing. Government assures there's no community transmission of COVID-19 in India, but asserts awareness and alertness a must. Number of active cases in the country up to 6,565 with 239 deaths, while 642 people are discharged after treatment. Center says India has enough stock of hydroxychloroquine. Additional supply also tied up. Says domestic requirement to be the priority while taking calls on export of the drug. Assures there is no dearth of N95 masks and PPEs in the country. Finance Ministry says government under process of releasing 12 million metric tons of food grain in three months under Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana, considering the exigencies arising out of the coronavirus situation. Pre-monsoon sowing of Kharif crops begins. Paddy acreage up 27% so far. Area sown to pulses increased to 3.97 lakh hectares. And World Health Organization warns of possibility of deadly resurgence if stay-home restrictions are lifted too quickly as global death toll due to coronavirus goes past 100,000 with more than 1.6 million cases registered worldwide. Hello and welcome to this edition of the news. I'm Rukma in our top story. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is currently holding a meeting with Chief Ministers of States via video conferencing to discuss ways to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. This is the third time the Prime Minister is communicating with Chief Ministers on this issue. The previous meets had discussed the need and ways to promote social distancing. In the previous meetings, the Prime Minister had asked states to be constantly vigilant while emphasizing on effective implementation of social distancing. He urged Chief Ministers to ensure that all suggestions are followed to ensure the safety of citizens in the country. The Prime Minister is constantly in touch with global leaders on the coronavirus issue. Efforts are being made on how the effects of the epidemic can be reduced through innovation and other measures. And the number of active COVID-19 cases in the country now stands at 6,565, according to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. 239 fatalities have been recorded and as many as 642 people have been cured and discharged, while one has migrated. The central government has exempted the marine and fishing industry from the lockdown restrictions. All along with this, the government has also provided exemption to activities related to trading of fish, although the centre has stressed that social distancing and cleanliness be maintained while carrying out the trade in order to stop the spread of COVID-19. The central government under the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana is in the process of releasing 12 million metric tons of food grain during April to June. The finance minister tweeted that the government will provide for 80 crore people food grain of 5 kg per head per month at no cost. Pre ration has already reached 2 crore beneficiaries. As the number of coronavirus cases in the country continue to rise, the armed forces have come together to fight the enemy. In addition to CRPF and police, the Indian Air Force is working shoulder to shoulder to supply essential goods to every citizen. In the fight against the virus, the Air Force's C-17, C-130, IL-76, AN-32 and Donia aircraft today dropped essential loads at Mumbai, Bengaluru, Guwahati and Leh. Along with this, it also shifted army doctors from Lucknow to Guwahati. The Air Force is continuously working around the clock to ensure that items such as medical supplies and equipment, disinfectants and medical samples reach the desired destination to assist other professionals to fight against the virus. 
And the government's official fact-checking entity has debunked media reports which claim that the Ministry of Railways has issued protocols regarding passenger travel post the lockdown period. The PIB fact-check team tweeted that such claims are speculative and misleading. No such protocols have been issued by the government. The PIB also dismissed media reports of shortage of hydroxychloroquine for Mumbai doctors dealing with COVID-19. The PIB fact-check team termed the report as fake. Amid the COVID-19 lockdown, the pre-monsoon sowing of kharif crops has begun across the country with paddy acreage 27% higher at 32.58 lakh hectares so far as compared to last season. According to the Agriculture Ministry, the area sown to pulses has increased to 3.97 lakh hectares from 3.01 lakh hectares in the set period. The area under coarse cereals has increased to 5.54 lakh hectares so far. In the current Kharif season of this year, from 4.33 lakh hectares a year ago. In case of oil seeds too, the sowing area has increased to 6.66 lakh hectares from 5.97 lakh hectares. In the said period, the total area planted under all Kharif crops has increased to 48.76 lakh hectares so far this season as against 37.12 lakh hectares in the same period last year. The News Broadcasting Standards Authority of India has issued an advisory to news reporters and agencies with respect to, with regards to interviewing persons in isolation due to COVID-19. The independent adjudicating body of news broadcasters advise all reporting units uh, not to enter hospitals or isolation wards where COVID-19 positive cases are in isolation to contain the contagion. It also advises not to interview medical personnel so as not to jeopardize lives of others in the country. In view of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic in the country, the Regional Outreach Bureau of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has initiated a field-based outreach and awareness program through traveling audio announcement system in rural areas of Maharashtra. Under the program, three wheelers are installed with pre-recorded audio announcements and messaging to create awareness about coronavirus. 20 vehicles have been deployed in different COVID-19 affected districts, which travel for 8 to 10 hours per day, covering a distance of about 50 kilometers each. In order to make messaging more effective, the staff artists have created audio messages and songs in local languages. Audio messages shared through public announcement will focus on taking various precautionary measures to contain the spread of the infection, such as maintaining personal hygiene, and will also provide a list of essential services allowed under the lockdown. As the tally of COVID-19 cases in the country continues to rise, people who have recovered from the dreaded disease have expressed their gratitude for doctors and caregivers. These corona warriors are urging people to stay at home. And in a step to contribute their part for the nation's fight against COVID-19, Panchayat Burthyan of uh, Kathua district has passed a resolution to skip one-time meals so that it can be distributed among the needy during the lockdown. In this panchayat of nearly 2,500 people, pregnant women, children and the elderly and sick have been exempted from the resolution. 
And in Uttar Pradesh's Muradabad, migrant workers in shelter homes are being given yoga lessons in order that they may stay healthy and amid the outbreak of the deadly COVID-19. Social distancing is also being maintained during these classes. In Bhopal, the smart city office has been converted into a war room to combat coronavirus in the city. The war room provides and records information of suspected COVID patients in the state. A subdivisional magistrate has been given the task to get feedback on treatment of coronavirus infected people and inform the administration on their medical condition. Meanwhile, a data center has been set up for compilation of data on treatment of uh, virus infected persons, those quarantined or under isolation. And in a major relief for the poor and the needy, funds have been allocated to beneficiaries' account under Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana and other schemes in Shivpuri district of Madhya Pradesh. To aid the process of clearance of funds, several camps are being organized at the Gram Panchayat level. These camps are efficiently aiding beneficiaries in withdrawal of their deposits. Keeping in mind social distancing, people have been instructed to maintain adequate distance as the beneficiaries stand on designated circles and wait for their respective turns. Fully cooperating with them, bank officials and employees are also taking precaution regarding spread of the virus. जनधन के खातों में 5500 रुपए की राशि महिलाओं के लिए भेजी गई है, जो हमारी शाखाओं के द्वारा बेचत की जा रही है, क्योंकि बैंक भी आवश्यक सेवा में हैं, हमारा पूरा स्टाफ इतनी परेशानी में वायरस से बचाव करते हुए लगातार उनकी सेवा में लगा हुआ है। गवर्नमेंट की जो भी गाइडलाइंस दी गई है कि आपको पर्टिकुलर एक एक मीटर के घेरे जो बनाए गए हैं, वो मतलब वो फॉलो करते हुए पेमेंट किया जा रहा है। और साथ में हमें ग्रामीण बैंक सेवा समिति द्वारा किट उपलब्ध कराई मोदी का धन्यवाद करें। लॉकडाउन करें, उसकी पालन करें और उसको दूर करें। लोगों से मैं यही कहना चाहूँगा कि जो मोदी जी जो है ना बना रहे हैं, वो सुबह नाका नियम करें, पालन करें। कोरोना वायरस से दूर-दूर अपनी सेफ्टी से ही बचा हो सकता है। and it's not just the center, but state governments too are taking all possible initiatives to combat the spread of COVID-19. Police in Jangleshwar in Gujarat are using drones to monitor that lockdown rules are followed in the state. In Karnataka's Kalburgi, the city corporation organized a health checkup camp for sanitary workers who are also among the frontline warriors of COVID-19 side, along with doctors. These sanitary workers were also advised to take necessary precautions in order to protect themselves from being infected. And as uh, the entire country and the world battles with COVID-19, multiple efforts are being made to raise awareness among people. Social activist M. Prabhakaran has also done his bit to spread awareness about the disease, the artist painted a colorful image of coronavirus on the road so that every time passers by see it, they remember to take the necessary precautions to ensure they are protected from the deadly virus. And in Uttarakhand, the police are keeping a vigil on activities across Dehradun. Drones are being used to monitor the lockdown situation and ensure that people stay at home. Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has said that India's preparation for petroleum products in the, the lockdown is well established and widely available throughout the country. He added that the Ministry of Petroleum is delivering gas through the through pipeline from Ladakh to Kohima to six to almost six million homes. He further added that there is no shortage of cylinders and natural gas in the lockdown. देश में आज साढे सत्ताईस करोड़ एलपीजी कंज्यूमर हैं, उसमें उज्जवल अभी आठ करोड़ हैं। बाकी सामान्य एलपीजी कंज्यूमर को आज जैसे लॉकडाउन जैसी स्थिति में डोर डेलीवरी करवाना ये एक बहुत बड़ा जिम्मेवारी हमारी ऊपर है। 
साठ लाख तक डोर डिलीवरी रोज भारत की लद्दाख हो या कन्याकुमारी हो कच्छ हो या कोहिमा हो भारत की सभी राज्य में सभी यूनियन टेरिटोरी में एलपीजी की डोर डिलीवरी निरंतर जारी रखा गया है and more than 100000 people have lost their lives worldwide due to coronavirus with nearly 70% uh, in europe data compiled by the johns hopkins university showed the global death toll at just over 100000 and the number of confirmed cases worldwide at more than 1.6 million more than 372000 recoveries have been recorded italy has registered the highest number of covid-19 deaths more than 18800 as of friday while the united states has reported the majority of confirmed infections nearly half a million However, the number of newly hospitalized patients in the hardest hit state of New York has dropped to a 1% increase. The World Health Organization has warned countries to be cautious about lifting restrictions introduced to curb the spread of coronavirus. Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said that WHO would like to see an easing but at the same time lifting restrictions could lead to a deadly resurgence he said there had been a positive side of slowing of epidemics in some european countries including italy germany spain and france however he mentioned that there had been an alarming acceleration in other countries including community transmission in 16 countries of africa Some countries are already planning the transition out of stay at home restrictions. WHO wants to see restrictions lifted as much as anyone. At the same time, lifting restrictions too quickly could lead to a deadly resurgence. The way down can be as dangerous as the way up if not managed properly. And in Turkey, Istanbul, Ankara and other major cities have been locked down for 2 days since Friday midnight to combat the spread of coronavirus. The restrictions were imposed imposed in 31 provinces across the country and scaled up existing curbs under which people under the age of 20 and over 65 have been told to stay at home. As the lockdown was announced, people rushed out to buy supplies, forming long queues outside supermarkets. Turkish authorities call on people to maintain their social distance. The restrictions were imposed in 31 provinces across the country. Existing curbs under which people under the age of 20 and over 65 have been told to stay at home as the country's death toll from the pandemic rose above 1000. Brazil, the hardest hit Latin American country in the coronavirus pandemic, has crossed the mark of 1000 deaths. According to Health Ministry's latest figures, 19,638 confirmed COVID-19 cases were registered in the country with 1057 deaths. Meanwhile, in Amazonas, which occupies which is home to more indigenous people than any other state, was badly affected. 95% of intensive care beds are already occupied in the region according to officials a teenager from Yanomami indigenous tribe was among those killed by the new coronavirus an island on friday extended stay at home restrictions until may 5th prime minister leo varadkar said the curbs had significantly slowed the spread of the outbreak but more work was required to end it Ireland has shut bars, restaurants and non-essential retail since March 27th. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Varadkar has also appealed to people not to travel more than 2 kilometers from their homes or visit friends and family until this Sunday. Education Minister Jo McHugh also postponed the leaving certificate state school exams from early June until late July. Prior to the March 27th lockdown, Ireland had banned all non-essential travel within the country. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in Ireland rose to 8,089 on Friday, with 288 more deaths. However, the average day-on-day -day case growth has fallen to 9% from 15%. 
Meanwhile, the United States becomes the first country to record more than 2,000 deaths in one day from the virus. The total number of COVID deaths mounted to nearly 18,000, with a total number of infections over 5 lakhs. New York, the epicenter of the disease, has registered more than 7,000 deaths and over 1,70,000 cases, surpassing Europe's worst hit Spain and Italy's infection toll. Meanwhile, President Trump has said he sees a downward curve very strongly in New York and a lot of that has to do with the aggressive strategy in saving so many lives. He also said that he would soon set up a new advisory council of doctors and businessmen to recommend when to open America, whose economy has come to a grinding halt due to the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 95% of the country's 330 million population are under stay-at-home orders as part of measures to protect people from getting infected. And in Poland, to ensure that basic facilities reach everyone, seven vending machines that dispense face masks, gloves and sanitizers have been installed on the streets this week and an additional Several dozen of them are planned to be installed soon. The move, which is being much applauded, comes after Poland extended its lockdown measures such as closing schools, hotels, restaurants, shopping malls, cinemas, as well as parks and promenades to contain the spread of the virus. As of now, 5,742 people have, were infected with the virus in Poland, with 175 dead. An Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Monti has refused to bow to business pressure and has extended the Mediterranean country's economically crippling lockdown until May 3rd. The announcement comes after Italy's COVID-19 toll climbed by another 570 fatalities to 18,849, which is more than any other country. But with the growth rate now just a fraction of what it was a few weeks ago. And that's all we have time for in this edition of the news. News and updates continue on DD News and DD India. Namaskar.